We are making Caesar salad and I consider myself an expert because I tried it in over 500 restaurants and our homemade is the best. By the way, stay till the end, I'm gonna tell you which restaurant has an epic Caesar salad. We are starting with some croutons. This step is totally not necessary, but if you have some stale bread or if you want to make your own, it's quite easy. So you just chop the bread into bite-sized pieces. I am using sourdough, this is what I have on hand, and it does give me like a nice texture. And I'm cutting it into bite-sized pieces. And just don't crowd your baking sheet, just place in the baking sheet. They're about half an, well, no, probably an inch in size. I'm gonna drizzle it with some avocado oil. I think this is avocado or olive oil also works. So we're just drizzling that all over. And for the seasoning, I love garlic parsley salt, but Italian seasoning is great as well. You can do a sprinkle of salt, pepper as well, but this is great. And a little bit of Parmesan also works really well in here. We're gonna pop this in the oven and broil and just until it's nice and golden and crispy. Ingredients for the dressing. Um, we need a lemon. So we're gonna get some lemon for lemon juice. I have a cup of mayo here and then Worcestershire sauce. I think that's how you pronounce it. Then I have Dijon mustard, some Parmesan cheese, freshly grated Parmesan cheese is great. And then I have three large garlic cloves. You can do however many you want. Um, this is how typically I do it. Personally, I don't like mayo, and in this dressing, it works. So if you're not a mayo person, give this a try, because I literally don't eat it anywhere else but this salad dressing. So we have mayo, just adding everything in, all of our ingredients, then Parmesan cheese. Sometimes I actually add a little bit more Parmesan cheese. We're gonna combine it all together. I'm gonna do a little squeeze of lemon juice in here. To make your lemon extra juicy, you can just like roll it like this and it just becomes more juicy, produces more juice. We're gonna cut it in half and just squeeze out about two tablespoons of lemon juice. Here's a little trick to peeling garlic. You wanna cut off this like rough part of the garlic clove, just cut it off and then if you smash it hard like that, the peel comes right off. So if you're struggling to peel it, maybe I smashed it too hard, but if you are struggling to peel it, this is the easiest way to do it. So we're gonna press garlic into the mix. And it's such an easy way to impress your guests. Like, can you imagine telling people that I made my own salad dressing and I made my own Caesar salad from scratch? That's pretty impressive and it's just easy. This is basically all for the dressing. I do like to season it with a little bit of salt and pepper as well. So I'm gonna taste it and then season it a little bit as well. So one of the best ways to taste it, I just like take the back of the spoon and dab it. It's pretty good. It just needs a little splash of salt, not splash, a sprinkle of salt and a little bit of pepper. But this is just really up to a preference. It depends on the person. Some people just don't like pepper and you don't have to add this. Just combine this all in. You can store this dressing just like this in your fridge for several weeks. Um, I usually have some on hand because it's so convenient that we just chop up lettuce, put this together, and we have ourselves salad for dinner. It's epic. To build a salad, you just need romaine lettuce. So I have some here. I'm just gonna cut off the ends. And to cut it, you just kind of go along like this. And I flip it over and do it one more time and just chop it into bite-sized pieces. And the same thing with this one. Chop twice on top or slice, and then one more time when you churn it, and it gives you a perfect bite-sized piece. We're gonna move this to our bowl, and I love using this like large, low-profile bowl. That way it gives me a lot of room for mixing. Our croutons are ready, they're like right behind me right there. <laughs> so we're adding the dressing first. For the dressing, I usually eye this part. So some people like saucy Caesar salad. Some people like it more on just like just enough dressing and just add a little bit at a time, toss it together and see how much dressing you have and keep adding as much as you want or add more lettuce if you overdid it. So just chop up a little bit more lettuce. We're adding our croutons. They're nice and golden crispy. I just like to mix, don't fall. <laughs> I just like to mix some of them in and just add a little more for the top. So we're gonna do that. 
add a little bit more, especially if you have good quality like sourdough bread croutons. And some Parmesan cheese on top is a must and freshly grated is the only way to go. So always get that. And there's never too much Parmesan cheese. And basically this is it. Our salad is ready. And so if you're hosting and you serve this, everybody's gonna be like, whoa, you are a real chef making your own salad and you know how easy it is. We're gonna do a taste test and I'll tell you what the restaurant is. Okay, the taste test, we are gonna just do a bite, but literally made this salad a million times. The flavor, you need a little crunch. It's epic. And the restaurant that has an epic Caesar salad is Cheesecake Factory. They have a really, really good Caesar salad. They literally, the large one used to come in a size like this. I don't know if it still comes this big, but if you have tried it, I really need to hear what you think. Or if you have a better one that I need to try, please tell me in comments.